It's a question about COVID-19 that medical experts still don't know the answer to. What's the risk of having a second infection? So this new study is trying to establish just that and to discover how strong an immune response is needed to prevent it from happening. That will help us in interpreting immune responses in people who previously had COVID. It will help us determine how long protection lasts after natural infection, and it will help us with vaccine design and development as well. 24 volunteers will be recruited to establish the lowest dose of the virus that's needed to reinfect someone. Then another 10 to 40 people will be recruited for the second stage to confirm that dose. All the volunteers need to have tested positive for COVID-19 at least three months ago to have antibodies present and to be otherwise fit and healthy. They'll be quarantined in a hospital suite for 17 days and monitored carefully. We are using a very low dose of virus and we are also administering the Regeneron monoclonal antibody cocktail as soon as people become infected. We think that all those things together combined really minimise any potential risk from participating in this study. What about the chances of long COVID? Because obviously you can give this antibody cocktail straight away for the infection but that's not necessarily going to protect them against long covid we will be recruiting volunteers who have already had SARS-CoV-2 infection and who have fully recovered from it therefore their risks of getting long covid after a second infection are very much reduced to date there are no reported cases of long covid after a second reinfection the reinfection will be with the original strain of the virus, as the scientists have the most knowledge about that, but they hope to look at variants in the future. The volunteers will be followed for a year and for their time and trouble will be paid around $7,000 each. Nicola Hill, TRT World, United Kingdom.